Hello and welcome to this video about Google Photos. In today's video, we're going to show you how to download all your photos from Google Photo onto your computer and reuse them afterwards. Let's get started. To download your photos from Google Photo, you have to uh, go to this Google site called takeout.google.com. On this website, you're going to be able to select any information that Google holds about you and uh, download it directly to your computer. As you can see, there are lots of services offered by Google. So we're going to start by deselecting everything because we are only interested in Google Photos. So we're going to scroll until we see Google Photos here and select that particular section of the data that we want to download. Uh, there is a, a little bit of information here about the kind of information that is going to be downloaded. As you can see, um, uh, Google tells you what's going to happen to your photos, to your videos, uh, about the album metadata, about the photo metadata, what is the uh, format that is going to be used to transfer that metadata back to your uh, computer. Uh, for example, photo metadata is going to be transferred as a JSON, which is a text format, and we're going to see that um, in a minute. Here there, there is a very useful inf uh, option panel that lets you select everything you want to download. So you can see um, that Google has uh, organized your photos by, by your own albums, but also by year, so you can select either everything, like in this case, or just select a few years or a few albums if you want to uh, do a dry run, for example. In our case, because this can take a long time, we're going to select only two albums um, to make it quicker. Now that my two albums are selected, I can, download, I can scroll down and go to the next step, which is where I'm going to choose a few options regarding the delivery method, the, the formats, uh, the sizes, etc. In my case, I'm going to use the default options that tell me that I'm going to download only once. Uh, I choose a zip file as the output format, and uh, uh, I set a limit at two gigabytes, so every everything that is larger than two gigabytes are going to be split in, into multiple files. And then I can click on Create Export. So as the uh, little panel here tells you, it can take a few hours or even days to complete if you have lots of pictures. In my case, because I've selected only a few images, a few albums, uh, the download is already available. So I click on the download button and this will actually download the, um, the, the takeout uh, onto my computer into my download folder. So let's go down to the download folder and see how it looks. If I go into this takeout folder, I see a, a Google Photos folder where my two albums are being referenced. And uh, as you can see, every image in my album comes with a little file, uh, which is this famous uh, JSON, JSON file, which is a text file that contains information about the uh, metadata of the image. For example, in this case, I can see that the geographical data, the GPS data is being referenced here. Um, there is also some information about the device that took the picture. There can be additional metadata based on the type of annotation that you've performed inside Google Photo or in, um, based on the type of additional data that Google has added to your pictures, such as, for example, faces or uh, other types of data. Now that I have um, this uh, information downloaded to my computer, uh, I can use it to import it into um, various packages. Uh, in an upcoming video, we are going to show you how to use Avalanche to transfer that downloaded uh, Google Photo data back into uh, any program that Avalanche supports, such as Avalanche Photos, uh, Lightroom, or Capture One, or Luminar. Uh, and reuse all that metadata information that Google has uh, given access to you um, to recreate uh, a rich experience inside that destination package with the full metadata, the full album support, the keywords, the faces, uh, so you can retrieve 
uh, what you had in Google Photo into a new package. But that's going to be in the next video. Thank you very much for your attention and see you soon. Thank you.